Hi guys, welcome to my Rampai tutorial. I'm going to show you how I make a slightly more complex than normal game. So, look here. Um, I'm going to have a side image and the general basic dialogue. And the background is just going to be black. So, uh, I have a name input screen. And basically the usual dialogue. And this is a character creation screen that was inspired by one I saw online and basically you have 10 points that you can put however you wish so once you're done with that then the finish button will activate and basically comment on you and then this is a, your statistics screen I mean there's a little bit of formatting here but it's basically just random stats but you can expand on it in the future because this was mostly inspired by the manga The Gamer. Um, and yeah, it's just a really, really short visual novel because I just want to show how you could code the thing. So to start with, we're going to go to screens. There's not really much in the script except the name input bit. So um, all the way at the bottom, this is Adam which is a text editor that's free and I'm using the packages for my syntax highlighting I'm using a syntax highlighting package called Rampy language or something like that and I have a lot of little add-ons that I'll talk about more later so for now you just want to see this this is the start of what I'm doing so this bit is meant for initializing whatever you want to do at the start. So basically, this will all be done at the start and it will initialize it so that the creation point is 10. This was part of the script of um, someone else who I'll try to find and link below. And this is just more stuff. Because uh, this one that links uh, creation points will be the initialized creation point so that once you look here if there's a display screen see uh, creation points initialized creation points here probably not doing a really good explanation let me try the rest of it so these are all the different uh, stats they are not actually part of the character creation screen, they are actually part of my um, stats screen. But uh, I needed to just initialize them all here because these are all the base stats that I want to be able to manip manipulate. So I have, this was charisma, and here I have charisma points, and here's the level. Because I'm going to have the formatting of having a level, and once your points have, like once you have 10 points, you'll level up. It's a really basic system that makes it easier for me to code the game. And this is um, basically setting the background for other perks, like eventually you could have a perk like um, Jinchuriki. If it was Naruto, then he would have a Jinchuriki perk that would give him a high chakra regeneration, but um, decrease in reputation or something like that and then this is a uh, calculation so for example if you're level one then you only need five chakra points to level up but if you're um, level 20 then you need a hundred chakra points to level up so it's just making sure that scale so that when you the player gets like Five, uh, one point for some uh, reading a, um, like shuriken throwing because that's something they do in the beginning it'll be easier for them to level up then but then once they get more advanced they shouldn't be able to level up at the same speed doing the same thing so they would have to move on to more significant actions so this is basically me trying to make sure that gameplay actually progresses so now we can actually get onto it. This is the screen of character creation, and again, this was inspired by someone else. 
and you need to type frame and then you just type has b box and then this is like the meat of the bun okay so you want to t uh, show them how many points they have available and creation points so here you can see how this is useful because this is 10 right so you want this to become this and so there are 10 creation points and it will show like once you've used up a creation point go to 9 creation points etc etc so if your creation points are 0 um, there are two equals here because when you're coding one equals means set the variable to this and two equals means is this equal to this so you have this text button called charisma with a x minimum of 200 which is basically telling them how big the button can be how small the button has to be okay so this button doesn't do anything and basically they just want to um, I mean let me show you what I mean Okay, so I'm just going to forward skip, yes, uh, forward skip again. So basically, they just want to make sure that when you can, you can click the button. So you'll see here, text button. When your points are zero, like here, let me just click it till it's zero for you. So then the button is no longer clickable. Because once it's zero, you can't do anything with it. But um, if it's not zero, which means you still ha if you still have creation points left, then your text button of charisma with this size, etc., et will have this action. So look here. Um, this is all action. First, it says to set the charisma point um, to at one. So if you click the button for charisma, then you, instead of having a charisma point of 0, you have a charisma point of 1. Click it again, you have a charisma point of 2. At the same time, they will reduce the creation points to negative 1. So if you have 10, you have 9, and that's pretty much very basic. And everything else is basically a replication of that with me changing charisma to strength or vitality etc etc and then we have bar range so even though RenPy is actually really really bad at rendering bars it still has a basic functionality of it so this is bar and then you must tell it its range which is charisma to level up this is the maximum so uh, the maximum would be like you have a zero on one end and the other end is like a hundred and my charisma to level up it would be five times the charisma level and right now the charisma level I made sure they all started at one so that there weren't any issues so it will be five so zero to five and then here you need to give it the value what is what is the extent the inside of the bar is going to be to so my value is the charisma point so if you're at zero like at the start then there's zero points if you click then it'll move towards there so this x maximum of 400 ensures that the bar doesn't go like here though um the bar does become more accurate for example the maximum is five right so one two three four five okay that's fine but once you get into more complex numbers, it will mess it up. Like if I add another one, it, you can't really go any further because, well, you have leveled up, but you've told it, you told the program that the maximum was there, and that's not really what it's showing. Of course, you could change this by adding like plus five to this so that the bar was arranged a bit better but for a player that's clicking here they'll probably just get quite frustrated because they'll be like why isn't it increasing so um, after that I have basically just replicated the same thing for all the other bits 
and this one is for the finish button so look I still have one point left and the finish button doesn't show once it's done I can click the finish button now so uh, you can kind of see here this is basically the same thing so if this equals zero action return it means that you're supposed to return to the script and here I'll show you my script so that's a lot of site images definitions and here is call screen character creation so basically calling whatever screen that you're using so if you come here to screen character creation right you're calling that screen so once you're finished with it then they would basically you click finish here and you return to the original script so you'd see that before it would say um, so I'll give you 10 points blah 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 and then once you call the screen and then you once you return you return back here so we're done with that and then this is my character stat screen so I already initialized all the things like a name um, up top and then clear name this is how you show a variable and this b and slash b is just to make sure that this name thing is in bold so these two will be on the same line as you can sort of see from here see name equals p they will be on the same line so because they're in the same h box then text this is charisma and your level of charisma and this is the bar again like I told you before the bar doesn't really work very well and next I made a screen for I made all kinds of different screens so for now I'm just going to show you the characters that screen has vbox it's the same thing text will show any text you want on the same line and then you have this formatting text that you can just read in Rampy's documentation and here's another bar range thing which is very simplified. You can see that my X maximum is different this time so it's longer but considering that I put them all in the same H box it's not actually very straight. It's a bit justified? No, it's just it's left justified or left aligned however you call it instead of being uh, each a row of this and a row of the levels and a row of the bars because I didn't set it that way so now that I'm done with the screens uh, I'm just gonna finish off by going to show you the basic stuff like how I got a side image so first I define this character here which is my me character and the important part is the image me here. The image me will basically let you do um it basically tells the rampi compiler that you have this image tag associated with this character. So when you type um e small two They'll look for E and then they'll look at image me. So they'll look for images with a tag of me and whatever else you put here. For example, I put smile2, right? So they'll look for me and then they'll look for smile2. Just take note that if you have like just image me, um, just E, they might just look, oh, but then this. Um, this has a me attribute and this also has a me attribute so since it can't tell which one to pick it just won't pick one okay so then we have window left padding 250 whatever that is so that is actually um, how I got this dialog window which is usually here to go here so there's space for the character to be here and Here's just my basic image definitions, but uh, here we have the name input. So define p dynamic character player name. You might be wondering why I put dynamic character. It's because I want to change the name. So this 
is actually a variable and this will be done by having um, so I can set the variable. So this is actually a Python initialization thing. It's the same as doing Python dash and having all the stuff indented here. But I just prefer to put the money sign because it's better formatting for me. So this is the default player name. So if they don't add a player name, then that will be this. Some people do it if there is nothing in the what is your name input, then they would do that. But uh, I I didn't do that for some odd reason. So this one basically just gives us for a text input of their name, and this one, uh, no, it doesn't strip it. It just like gets rid. It just get rid of the um, spaces, and this is me basically displaying that. It's just for me to confirm that this name is what they put in, so it's pleased to meet you. And then these square brackets will ensure that the name of the variable is typed out. Instead of typing out player name, they would type out whatever you put in here. And all the useless fluff, and then we have call screens here. and. This is just the basic framework of a game I'm going to make. I should also show you how I do the sizing of these side images. And uh, I have another tutorial for that, so for now I'll just stop here. Please comment below if you want me to make tutorials for other vampire related things.